Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I don't have any curls. I know this is breaking news. Well, actually it shouldn't be because I've posted a million photos with these braids on Instagram. So if you haven't seen this yet, why aren't you following me on Instagram? This is the very first time I have ever gotten braids, like a full head of individual braids. And I love it. Like I literally thought I was gonna have curly hair withdrawals. Y'all know how much I love my curls and I knew I was gonna like miss them in a couple days and I was gonna take them all out. But I mean, surprisingly, I'm good. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you everything about braids. How do I sleep with them? How long did it take? How much does it cost? Is it worth it? Can you swim with them? Do you wash it? How do you sleep with it? A lot of new questions come when you get new hair and I'm still kind of figuring it out, but I thought I would share what I've learned thus far. Now going back to the beginning, I've had these braids for almost two weeks. I've had them for a total of 13 days. Still looking pretty fresh and these have been through it. I decided to get braids because I just went on a trip to Barbados and I knew I was gonna be swimming in the ocean and the pool and I just did not want to have to deal with washing my hair every day. Curly hair usually looks better on like day two, three, four or whatever, but I'm never gonna get day two, three, four hair if I'm always getting it wet every day on vacation. So I just didn't wanna walk around my whole trip with mediocre curls. And it was literally the best decision I've made. When you have braids, you literally wake up and go. Like, we're not talking about wash and goes, people. Wake and goes. Wake and goes is the way to go. The reason why braids are considered a protective style is because we are protecting our hair from all the different things we do to it. If you're someone that is still very attached to their hair straightener, these braids are protecting them from you and you trying to burn them all the time. It just offers a very minimal manipulation to our hair. We're not brushing it out all the time. We're not trying to pull it back into slick buns. We're not doing anything to it. We're literally just letting our hair be on vacation while we are. Now, when I got these braids, of course, I filmed a little bit for you. So this is Kara. She's the one who did my hair and she did it so fast. What you see right now is a total of about 50 to 55 braids, so they're a nice size, I believe. I didn't want to do them too small, and I didn't want them to be like chunky big, but I feel like this is like the perfect small-ish, medium size braid, and it's. I still have a lot. Like, look at all this. Even with this size, you still have a full head of braids. And before you guys compliment me on shrinkage, no, this is not all of my hair. When you get your hair braided, they always add in synthetic hair. Yes, I have a lot of hair myself and it is longer when it's like stretched, but you're not gonna get the same look without adding in some fake hair. So she added in my natural like dark, dark brown color. And I also have highlights. So she put a couple braids in with this really pretty lighter brown color. And she just kind of did it sporadically. And I think it looks really nice adding some flair in little certain areas. Does it hurt when you get braids? No, it did not hurt for me at all. I also asked her not to do it too tight because I was about to go on vacation the very next day and I did not want to be on a plane with just like super tight braids. How much does it cost to get your hair braided? Well, it's different every place you go. It definitely depends on the hairstylist. But Cara, who did my hair, charges $150 for this. And this will last me like a long time. <laughs> Some people have their braids in for like eight to 10 weeks. I'm trying to last until the end of this month. So I'm probably gonna last like a full month and then I kind of just have to have my curly hair back because it's part of my job. So I'm only gonna be able to rock this for so long before I gotta start reviewing curly hair products again, but I am definitely milking this for as long as possible. If it doesn't look frizzy and it still looks good, I mean, keep it in. Now let me give you a close up of the top of my head. So they're called box braids because each braid is braided out of a little box. I think she kind of did her own design. She didn't really do like straight up squares. So maybe I have like triangle braids. <laughs> she kind of just freestyled and I love how the top looked. Now let's talk about the pre-prep before getting your hair done. 
It is very good, obviously, to deep condition your hair because you're not gonna be able to really get in there for a while. So I did a deep conditioning treatment beforehand and I also pre-pooed with coconut oils. I probably would have done it maybe the day before, but funny enough, I had the great opportunity of being booked on a really cool shoot, which I'll be able to share with you guys soon. And I had to do a full curly hair routine video the day before my trip. So I literally filmed a curly hair routine video, came home, washed all the product out of my hair, and then got my hair braided before leaving on a plane the next morning. Like it was very stressful, but we got it done. But if I wasn't in a rush, I probably would have deep conditioned maybe the day before, and I would have done a protect the style to stretch my hair. Since I literally had to go from washing out product to getting it dry in a matter of 30 minutes, I did use my blow dryer to kind of brush out my hair. I would not recommend you straightening your hair, I mean, ever, especially if you're straightening your hair to do a protective style, like that just seems really counterproductive to damage your hair before putting it in a protective style. So I didn't want to straighten my hair and I didn't even want to straight up blow dry it out, but I did use a blow dryer to more dry my hair. This is actually how it looked when I just brushed out my curls. So I just wanted to stretch them. I have a better method of stretching out your curls without using any heat if I had the time to do that. I'll probably do a video on that for you guys if you guys want to let me know. But that's what I did. I just kind of brushed out my curls so they weren't so defined, making it easier to manipulate with the synthetic hair. Now we're gonna dip the braids. Wanna explain what this does? And this basically seals the braid, like we know it's not a human hair, it's kind of like a plastic mix, so it just kind of melts it and keeps it from like unraveling, makes the ends look all sleek. <laughs> not dipping all the way up the braid just because heat damage is heat damage so we're pretty yeah. much just sealing the ends um, just cool. to keep them from unraveling and we're now officially all done yay how do you feel? <laughs> it was good not heavy at all huh? no no okay. it's, it's like what four packs Four packs of hair? Mm -hmm. Four packs of hair? Four hours? Amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Vacation, here I come. How do I sleep with my hair? Well, it's quite easy. All I do at night is I get a scarf and I just really want to protect the top of my head so that I don't get too many flyaways, keep my edges laid, and I just put this on like this. And then I wrap it underneath all of them. Pull it so it's tight. Pull like that. And then I just tie it in a tight knot on the top. Keeping my baby hairs laid. Tuck it in. And that's about it. Kind of cute at the same time, huh? So now everything is nice and laid down. So in the morning, you literally just take it down and you're ready to go. It's kind of ridiculous how easy it is. The only thing I do in the morning is lay down these baby hairs with some edge control and a toothbrush, and that's it. I do plan on doing a full video on how to lay your edges, how to do some braided hairstyles. If you guys want that video, give this video a thumbs up so I know you're interested. What other questions did you guys have? Oh, how do you deal with the itchiness? So many people warned me about your scalp being really itchy. True, it can get that way. Both my hairstylist, Kara, and some other girls I've talked to, they recommended just not doing anything to your braids, like just let them live, let them be. The whole point is not having to do a lot to your hair. You shouldn't be, you know, washing it every day. You shouldn't be applying a bunch of product on it every day. Like just kind of do it on an as need basis the entire first week of me having my braids on my vacation i'll admit i didn't really do anything to them i was just waking up and my scalp was surprisingly fine but then i realized one thing that i did use throughout my whole trip was 
the scalp and hair mist by Kula. Kula sent me a bunch of different products and when I saw this one I was like, eh, I'm probably never gonna really need to use a scalp or hair mist. But then I realized, hello, my scalp is definitely exposed being in the sun every day with my braids now on vacation so this was great to be able to mist on my hair now i'm getting sunblock it's spf 30 on my scalp so that my scalp doesn't burn and it also has manoi oil and gatu cola extract and I was using this all the time. I used it on my husband, on my friends, everybody that went on the trip basically got a little spray or two. And I was like, maybe that's why my scalp didn't get dry or itchy because I kept using this spray. So this is a definite recommendation. I decided to use some shampoo one time after being in the ocean. I just put some shampoo and I just kind of rubbed it in on my scalp. There's no need to really cleanse your braids. It's just more about your scalp. Rubbed it in there and rinsed it out. I haven't even used conditioner. I've kind of just let my braids do their thing. But if your scalp is feeling dry or itchy, it is good to moisturize your scalp. You can use jojoba oil, Jamaican black castor oil, grapeseed oil, almond oil, and just put a couple drops where need be and then just rub it into your scalp. That way you always stay moisturized. I am going to start being a little bit better on using some products. And one of you, my subscribers, told me that Shea Moisture has a whole line for braids. Like, I didn't even know that. Shea Moisture has so many products, I can't keep up. But per my subscribers' recommendation, I reached out to Shea Moisture and they actually sent me their entire line that is for braids and protective styles. If you guys want me to review these Shea Moisture products for braids. Give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment so that I know you're interested. So let me know if you guys want me to do a video on how to use these Shea Moisture braided products. They're actually really great. There's a no rinse cleanser so you can shampoo your scalp without having to use any water. They have serums in case your scalp gets itchy. They have spray in case your hair starts to smell. Like they really thought of everything. So I'm excited to start using these. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee so you can get early updates on how these products are working for me and my hair. If you want to get your hair braided by Cara who did my braids, I'll make sure to put all her information down below in the description box. I definitely recommend her. I'm so happy with my hair. It was comfortable. She did it so fast. It's the perfect size that I wanted. So what do you guys think? Do you like me with these braids? How do you think it looks? Tell me your thoughts. Leave your braided tips down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday, so I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today.